Hey guys, Dylan back here from Hinstech Outdoors, and this is going to be another airsoft video. It is freaking cold out, so fishing season's probably over unless uh, we do some perch or walleye fishing soon, which I've been talking to with Dad. Or and uh, another thing with not doing things outside or airsoft or anything is uh, our field is currently closed. It's just some farmland we play on, but he's opening up to uh, Hauntan, so we're probably in best in, in our best interest not to. Play yourself there, but um, I'm thinking of just doing some videos like inside now since it's getting cold, and I'm probably gonna be doing a bunch of these videos for uh, the season until fishing and airsoft starts back up. So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are um, going to be ranking, in my honest opinion, through research I've conducted because I haven't had experience with any of these guns. It's both not just experience or uh research I've done, but also reviews I've heard from other people, and um, it's going to seem really, like, one-sided about this entire list. That's why I'm actually making a few lists about this topic, so uh, people don't get angry. If uh, you see this video and you obviously might not disagree, or you might disagree with all of them, uh, look at my channel. It's going to be all the videos that are basically titled the same thing. They're just different different ways they're ranked, because this is going to seem really one-sided, but um, let's talk about Umbrella Armory, guys. So what Umbrella Armory is, for those who have not heard, it, they're just like a super, super premium airsoft, both manufacturer and they do, they, they can upgrade your gun if you want. Um, they just, they, they provide a lot of service for your airsoft gun as well as they have come out with their own line of guns recently. And they also, um, they work with Crytac airsoft guns a lot and they've upgraded those. And I've just heard a lot of good things. They were established back in, uh, like I think summer of 2010 and they have quickly rise to the more well-known part of airsoft especially you see a lot of youtubers using these guns now and or a lot of the uh, more well-known youtubers even um Jet Desert Fox even had one of his guns upgraded by them and it's just crazy what I see these these guns first of all they sound very good and I hear a lot about their true response is fantastic and just the performance I've seen in videos looks extremely well as well as um, my own um, reading from their descriptions and everything, just these guns just seem super killer. So that's why I said uh, this might be a little look a little one side because all of these guns guys are going to be uh, umbrella armory guns. So now with the, and them being all umbrella armory guns, I'm ranking them towards again my own research on uh, which guns I, that they manufactured I think are the best to the least best because they're all just top tier airsoft guns, but. And I, obviously, there's more, they have more than 10 guns, but I'm only doing top 10 because it's usually, like, I might even shrink this down to a top 5, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm just ranking from what I think is has the best performance and is the best airsoft gun that they provide, and then, uh, one of the ones that aren't as good, because I can't really say the, the worst, because that sounds kind of bad, but, um, yeah, so let's get started with the, uh, top 10 airsoft guns, also top 10 umbrella airsoft guns. Okay, so the gun I'm going to start off with for uh, number 10, actually, let me switch this, um, is going to be the uh, Umbrella Armory Crytac SPR DMR. Um, all this information I'm going to read straight from the Umbrella Armory website. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check them out. I, there's going to be one issue with all these guns. Um, they're not obviously for the common player. They're all kind of very expensive guns, but... It honestly, I'm I'm thinking about eventually getting one sometime, guys. I mean, I have the money now as it is, but I really don't want to make that investment quite yet. Especially, um, I've made another kind of large investment into airsoft. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys might know what that is. I will be making a video on that as soon as it comes. It hasn't been shipped yet, but hopefully, it gets here before Christmas, a little early Christmas present. If not, who cares? We'll try again. Video out as fast as possible on that. But um, back to the uh, SPR. Um, it's, this is the DMR build, so I'm going to really quick read the stats, and then I'm going to try to kind of explain why I picked this for, uh, um, 10th place. So, uh, it, the weight is 13 pounds, it shoots in safe, semi, and full auto for a DMR. That's kind of, usually you see only, uh, safe, semi, semi, or just semi, yeah, semi and safe. Um, you can pick between, an, uh, FPS of 450 or 500, I think. You can pick which configuration you want or it just shoots between those um, has adjustable hop up just like the rest of these guns 
Uh, the inner barrel uh, length is 410 millimeters. The length of the gun extended, it has an extendable stock, um, is 920 millimeters. And the minimal length is 840 millimeters when fully collapsed. Um, it's got a long time motor in it, and the rounds per second is 25. And it has a threaded barrel on it, so you can put any kind of muzzle accessories that you want. Um, really, that's sort of all I think I'm going to go in with these guys. Mm -hmm. um, also, you can look on the uh, website if you guys want. It has all the features, and it also tells you the uh, build list, actually. Like what they use to build this gun. Because, again, they build these guns, and they use a lot of aftermarket parts to put into their guns. And that's, it's just like... It just sounds super good, guys. If you guys know some of, if you guys know your stuff for airsoft, this is some very, very top-notch work. And if you guys, uh, another cool thing I'm gonna add actually, they put the guy, the Gate Titan MOSFET in here, and they also have an R hopped barrel already. And it's just those are two things that usually, um, I'm an R hop fan. It's uh, honestly a very good accuracy upgrade. So this looks super good, guys. If you guys really are looking for some airsoft guns, you want to invest that much money into it. Definitely suggest Umbrella Armory, but, um, so why'd I pick this for 10th? Um, as I said, Umbrella Armory actually has their own line of guns now, and, uh, I think they're a little bit more top-notch than their Crytac upgrade ones. I mean, Crytac's definitely, for the common folk, Crytac, I think, is, like, no, nah, I'll put Sandbox, because Tokyo Maru is always going to probably reign supreme, but Crytac's up there, so when a company like this upgrades one, it's going to be fantastic, but still, I don't think it's going to be as good as their own line they have. And also, um, I used to be, if you guys, if you guys have been following this channel, I don't even have many subscribers, but, like, if you guys watch this channel, um, you guys know that I've been a sniper guy for, like, a long, and even my friends that watch these videos, they know that I've always been a, the designated marksman of all of our teams, but, um, I'm actually shifting gears, actually, that, obviously, from, um, me doing this, you don't see a bunch of snipers on this list, um, but I put the DMR last because I'm actually, uh, more of a, uh, Shortened rifle gun guy, carbine guy. So uh, I kind of like best of both worlds. I can do whatever I need to do. I'm still a DMR fan, but I put this because uh, I think the statistics were probably the least out of all these ten, and it's just kind of long. So and I played a field, but there's just a bunch of trees everywhere. So I gotta like kind of maneuver with it. So that's number ten. On to number nine, we have the Umbrella Armory Crytek CRB Carbine. Uh, here, here's something more up my alley. I like carmines, obviously. Um, so, this is just, again, shortened rifle, and I'm gonna read off your, the statistics here and explain why I put this where it was. Um, it's 11 pounds, it's again, shortened rifle, so it's gonna be, it's only 2 pounds lighter, actually, than DMR. Um, it shoots in sef, or safe, semi, and auto. Uh, the FPS is only 400. Uh, it's got a V2 gearbox in it. Uh, the inner barrel is 280 millimeters. The, it has a long type motor in it. And again, um, it has an R hop barrel. Um, they use Prometheus. You can actually get the uh, the Umbrella Armor Prometheus barrels on e bike if you want, are looking for someone good to upgrade your guns with. And again, it's got that that R hop. And what else did I point out on the other? Oh, yeah, and the Gate Titan monster. They, I think they all have the Gate Titan in them. So, so I put this one in ninth place because, again, I like it better than DMR because it's. A little bit more maneuverable, and it's but it, it's still not I think the highest performance out of all the umbrella armory guns. But yeah, there's number nine. All right, and in eighth place we have the SPR carving, which I believe I put the SPR DMR tenth. But um, uh, I like the SPR better than the CRB. I, again, I don't have any experience with these guns, but from what I've read, I just sort of put performance above the uh, CRB. Uh, the stats for this gun is, again, it's a 13 pound gun, so just as heavy as a DMR. It shoots in safe, semi, and auto. It shoots a 400 FPS. It's got a V2 gearbox. A 387.5 millimeter inner barrel. The max length is 915 millimeters. And the min length is 825. It's got a long type motor in it, and it shoots 30 RPS. So, again, here's a, this one's what where it is because it's another carbine but I get, like the SBR is better than the CRBs. Now we're moving on to a whole other territory of guns. Um, These are guns that I've done, I almost bought one of these myself again but I, I don't have any experience but I've done a lot of research on these because I really liked 
these guns because I heard a lot of good things. I've seen them on YouTube and I did my own research. And these guys sound really good. So these are going to be the uh, Crytac Lavoas or the LVOAs. Okay, so what the uh, Lavoa really is, it's um, it's a gun that's licensed by War Sports Industries um, and made by Crytac in the Airsoft counterpart version. And uh, basically what LVOA stands for is Low Visibility Operation Applications. So basically this is kind of like, it's got a nice looking muzzle brake on it. It's going to keep the flash down or it's a flash hider or whatever. It's probably a flash hider, so I probably should have said. Um, and it's just, it's too, it's more of a covert sort of application firearm. And that's just, it kind of just looks cool just the way they, so I'm going to put pictures up and show you guys. Um, but it's just, it just took a uh, minimalized, just. That, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him. It's just straight still. I don't really put into words I want to, but it's just, uh, low, vis low visibility operations. Um, but I picked for whatever place we're on now, actually, uh, the Umbrella Armory Crytac Lavoa S CQBR. So it's a really short rifle, shorter than the carbine. Um, I'm not too much of a CQB guy again, I'm a median guy. I would say I'm even more of a DMR guy than a CQBR guy, but um, yeah, this is just probably the shortest of the, and I'm, I like the LVO C's better, I think. I don't really know what the difference is, but I think I remember reading back when I was doing a lot of research, I liked them better. But uh, this is the LVOS, and the stats for this one is it's uh, 13 pounds, just like the uh, I think the SPR that we're talking about. Uh, it shoots in safe semi and auto, it shoots at 350 FPS, so again, it's a CQB legal gun um, in most places. Um, it's got a V2 gearbox, uh, 363 millimeter inner barrel. The max length is 840 with the extended stock, and then Short, the shortest length is 755, long type motor, and it's got a fire rate of 40 RPS, so a little bit faster than the other ones. And again, it's got the gate titan and the r -hop, just some important features. Again, if you guys want to look at more, there's quite a bit here if you go on the website and look at them. So let's move on to the next one. Next is the Umbrella Armored Crytek LVOAC DMR. Again, um, Lilo C, in my opinion, is better than Lilo S, and this is the DMR, so it's a little bit longer. They make the carbines, which will come obviously after this, and then we'll get on to what I think is really the top tier. It's like the top three of them. Uh, but this is the uh, LVOAC DMR, and stats for this is 13 pounds. It shoots in the safe semi and auto. FPS is 450 or 500. It's got a V2 gearbox in it, 387.5 uh, millimeter inner barrel. 915 millimeters max length, minimum length is 825. It's got a long time motor in it, and it shoots at 25 RPS. Next, we have the Umbrella Armory Crytek LVOS Carbine. So now we're getting into really these are the top five, I believe. Yeah, top five we're on, and this is where I really think like this is just my definitely like that that you educated opinion sort of just top five really good stuff guys I mean they're all good but it's where I start to get really in my opinion really good um so for the LVOS carbine we have it weighs in 13 pounds uh, shoots safe semi and auto uh, 400 FPS has a V2 gearbox in it 363 millimeter inner barrel 840 millimeter max length 755 millimeter minimum length and then the motor is a long type, and it shoots at 30 RPS. Can you guys tell I'm sick? Like, I, I forgot to mention that. I mean, if I sound like kind of like crap, and I'm kind of like some kind of stuffy, I got an awful cold over the weekend, so I'm trying to deal with it. Um, <laughs> but in fourth place, we have the Umbrella Armory Crytek with a C carbine, which is the one I wanted to buy, the Crytek version at least. Because again, it's a carbine, and the Lavoa C is... Um, the one that I liked better out of the two. And the stats for this guy is weighs in 13 pounds, shoots at safe semi and auto. Uh, the FPS is 400, got a V2 gearbox in it. It shoots at, th or, uh, never mind. It, the inner barrel length is 387.5 millimeters. Max length is 915 millimeters. 
The minimum length is 825. It's got a long time motor and shoots at 30 RPS. All right, so these next top three guns are going to be part of the Umbrella Armory OCAW uh, line of guns. And I remember these, I think they dropped maybe 2016, 27. And it was probably 2017, I think it was last year. And I saw them like, oh, Umbrella Armory is releasing more guns. Too bad I'm not going to be able to afford them. Because they look, there's a hype for these guns. These are the, these are actually different. These are 2018 ones. So the ones that came out with, I was just like super hyped to, to see, but I know I couldn't afford it, which was unfortunate, but these guys are really cool. There's like, I think they're pretty much just like, what? Sorry for the only reference, guys. Um, but yeah, I was saying, these are just like, sound like really, really good stuff, guys. So I'm going to really quick read these guys off to you guys so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, again, I'm going to put pictures up in the video and show you guys. These look pretty cool, too. Um, so this is, my third pick is going to be the, uh, the CQBR in the OCAW line, and, um, oh well, yeah, everything's different for this on the website, so, see if we can read this, um, it's got the cycle time on here, which is 15 MS, which I am uneducated to what that means, it, it claims it's the shortest cycle time of any AEG on the market, hmm, yeah, again, these just sound super good, guys, by that, but, uh, the rate of fire is 50 rounds per second, that's pretty quick, Guys, it's the it's, they say it's the highest automatic fire rate that they offer. Um, shoots it clocks in at 390 FPS. The uh, minimal length is 27 inches, and the weight is five and a half pounds. And the effective they even include the effective range for this gun is 175 feet. So perfect for as it says right here, perfect room clean or room clearing. Uh, so it's just a really this sounds like a really good if you guys are into the CQBR uh, deal or if you, and even if you guys are like. Uh, speed softers, you put an HPA or HPA unit right through this thing. It sounds like it'd be a pretty good contender for a good speed soft gun, but definitely a good CQB gun, it sounds like. So, go on to number two. And here we have the SPR of the ACAW, or a, yeah, ACAW line. Um, this is more of the uh, just a longer barreled rifle, special purpose rifles, what it stands for, I believe. Um, it's got a 35 MS cycle time gun. I'm not sure what that means, but um, I'm sure it just means the whole cycle, like loading a BB and everything. So, but I'm, I'm sorry if I sound uneducated. I'm not a big tech guy, guys, but um, it shoots at 20 rounds per second. It shoots at a uh, muzzle velocity of 500 FPS. It's 34 inch minimum length, 6.5 pounds, and the effective range is 325. That's pretty impressive for a. Uh, I mean, I guess not for a, even for, I think, a heavily upgraded AEG. That's pretty good. 325 feet, guys. Sounds pretty good to me. So, uh, that's the uh, SPR. <laughs> so, on to our number one pick. This is the, in my opinion, the best airsoft gun on the market. And I would really like to own one someday, guys. I'm, I'm thinking about it, guys. This is the 2018 ACAW Carbine. Again, I like carbines. It's a... Uh, just look at the picture, you guys will see it's got an M-Lock. I'm pretty sure they all have M-Lock, maybe I could be wrong. I think some of the Crytek have key mod, maybe, but... Um, yeah, but this, this is the gun that I would definitely choose to own, if you ask me, to have, if I can have one gun, guys. Uh, let's go into the stats of this thing. And again, I keep passing the uh, price point for all these guys. The ACAWs are like $1,900 and up. You, and you guys get a bunch of add-ons if you, th if you choose. You can choose how many magazines you want. How many batteries you want? You can get an optic on it. So nineteen. This starts at nineteen fifty, which I, I would be willing to dish out if I could spend that money, guys. Honestly, because if you're serious, to airsoft like money, isn't an option with me, or uh, isn't really a determining factor. I'm like, if it's good, I'll try to buy it. But anyway, um, the cycle time for this is three thirty, um, ms. I still don't know what ms means. Um, the rate of fire is 33 rounds per second, 400 FPS, 32 inch minimum length, 6 pounds, and it shoots an effective range of 225, which is still pretty nice. Um, yeah guys, that's, uh, that's, those are my picks for, um, the top 10 best airsoft guns on the market. Um, let's, uh, just address the elf in the room, um. I obviously like Umbrella Armory from the research I've done. Again, I've never used their guns, so I can't really 
don't take this with a grain of salt, but I'm also kind of biased because I like AEGs. Again, I used to be the Springer guy, but I'm just, obviously the fire rate is not there for Springer's guys, and I've just, I've been rather efficient with a bolt action sniper rifle, but it's just, I think it's more easier to use AEG, and it's also just like, I, I enjoy a little bit more without getting shot before I can get another round out to somebody. Um, and M4s, I'm, not to sound like that typical uh, American 2A guy, but AR is the best format, in Airsoft at least. I mean, I'm not too much, like, I, I like firearms real steel too, but I'm talking Airsoft here. M4, it just the options available for an M4 is what you can do to it. I think it makes it the most efficient Airsoft gun on the market, so. Uh, sorry if you guys didn't really like that list because of those three reasons, but, um, that's it. I will be hopefully making some more videos like this to, uh, sort of address those issues with them all being M4s and Umbrella Armory. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys, uh, maybe had your mind changed a little bit about what airsoft can you be buying in the future. Maybe not these because they're expensive, but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hoping to get a really big package soon to show you guys and review some things with my um hopefully with my buddies and yeah stay tuned for more guys i'll see you guys in the next video